Right, folks, so although this series was called Rangers in Isolation, we are not alone out here on the reserve. Um, it wouldn't be a good idea to leave a bunch of rangers unsupervised. So our managers or management team is also on site, or some of them at least. Say hello Good to morning, Bruce, everyone. to Amy who's not in uniform, <laughs> to Ross in the back. Good morning. And uh, one easy way to tell that you are going out with uh, senior management is that they bring along things to help them feel more comfortable. So they've become accustomed to office life and uh, yeah, getting soft. We channel our inner guest experience. <laughs> an excuse. So just before we stopped to admire that sunrise, Amy spotted tracks of a lioness and then heard baboons barking. And the other vehicle that's out this morning found the Kambula Pride close to main camp. So, I'm sorry, close to Mala Mala camp. <laughs> so we'll uh, switch over to there, that sighting quickly. Nick, why didn't we film an intro before you started filming the lions? Uh, well, Mike, we found them pretty much first thing in the morning. I think we were still waking up. Uh, it was a little bit dark then as well. But yeah, right in front of camp here, um, a whole two minutes out of camp and uh, yeah, we've got the whole, looks like the whole of the Kambula Pride as well as the Gari males just lying in the river right in front of camp. Spectacular sighting of, of them lying in the river with the sun rising. Have you ever seen any lions in the camp? Uh, it does happen from time to time, but like I said, normally once the camp goes quiet, so uh, at night time when everyone's in bed and the lights are off, uh, you can sometimes get them coming through the camp as we managed to capture on our camera traps in camp not too long ago. But uh, for the most part, the lions tend to move past the camp rather than through it. Thank you. 
us. We're just following tracks of a herd of buffalo walking south down the road here. We are in Paradise Valley along the Chalahanga River, one of the most picturesque parts of the property. Nick, these are not lions that we've seen yet on this series. Can you tell us a little bit about them and who they are? So Mike, we've got the Martley Pride or Martley Lioness and her one year, sort of one month old cub. Um, yeah, unfortunately we haven't seen them too much recently, but uh, we are sort of in the area of Martley um, where she does frequent and uh, she actually denned um, initially in the Manyaleti River uh, where she had three cubs to start off with um, and unfortunately she she lost two of them uh, but the one remaining cub is doing fantastic growing quickly um, and yeah it's just great to see them again doing uh, doing well Nick, with her only being the one lioness here with her cub, would you still say it's a pride of lions? We refer to them as the Martley pride, but it's only one. Uh, yeah, we, we still refer to them as a pride. I mean, there is more than one of them. Um, her cub is a, a young female, so hopefully the, the daughter can get to adulthood uh, and they can continue to grow their pride. Hopefully, uh, you know, they can stick together uh, produce some more cubs together and, and slowly but surely rebuild their pride. So yeah, they are still considered a pride, even though they're just two of them. Nick, do you know who the father of the cub is? So Mike, the dominant males over the Marty pride is also the Gauri males. Um, we saw them a bit earlier with the Kambula pride. So male lions can be dominant over sometimes multiple prides um, and in this case yeah the gari males are the fathers of this uh, this young female um, although they don't spend too much time with this lioness and, and her cub they majority spend time with the with the kambula pride but yeah they would be the the fathers Alright, 
Alright folks, so we have searched high and low for this herd of buffalo covering at least half of Charleston, the southern part, southern farm of Malamala and we've eventually found them and it looks like there's a newborn calf there there's a newborn calf that's so cool, trying to take its steps So not only has it been worthwhile finding this herd because of that newborn calf, can't be more than an hour old, but also this herd contains the spirit buffalo. Do we know if Casper is a male or a female buffalo? Male. Not him, I think it was his, oh. his father.
one particularly big one. I think she's pregnant. Huh? She looks it. This is a decent size herd. Look at this tiger boy, you're a mean looking guy. He looks nasty. She looks like he looks like the art. Look how he flies on. 